I did the biggest break anyone has ever done. I did something I thought I would never have the courage to do. I challenged the universe to hop on board of a journey with me. And God said, yes, I have your back, go. I did the biggest break ever. Now the common opinion of our culture and our society is that constant happiness doesn't even exist. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. Before I set out on the journey, I had no idea, even though happiness was my main goal, what happiness even meant. Everyone talks about it, but do they know what it is? And for me, it is simply having fun with whatever happens in the following moment, even if it's not pleasurable. Everything starts with a thought. So if sadness starts with a thought and happiness starts with a thought, I had to start thinking different. Now you might say you could have done that next to your work. You could have done that by building a career. You could have done that by building a family. But I'll tell you one thing. That's why every spiritual person goes on to a pilgrimage. It means that you listen all day long to your thoughts. And we have about probably 50 to 60,000 thoughts a day. And now I just had to change the negative thoughts to positive thoughts. And every time the negative thoughts would kick back in, I would get myself a better thought. This channel is for anyone who is searching for their own happiness, for an inspiration of going maybe on their own pilgrimage, maybe also to switch thoughts to get better thoughts. So welcome. Me, I'm Romy. I describe myself as a representative of paradise. That means I've been searching all my life, also in job life, for a well-being that I would pay for, that I would envy myself for. And this well-being, I have now noticed, includes three paradises. We can discover three paradises on Earth. Of course, the beauty that surrounds us. It's not hard to dwell in it. It will distract us, it will take all our senses in. And it should. It's beauty. But that same beauty you can find in yourself. And that's the most important love, the most intimate relationship you will have. It helps to go on your own pilgrimages, even if they last for a weekend, or maybe like with me for years. But it's also inspiring to see someone walk the talk, to see that you can experience life and the magic in a very deep way, in a very deep level. And the third paradise is if we are very lucky at the end of our life, awaiting us with our attitude, our heartbeats, our highest love we can think of. You know, all you have to do is use your common sense. That's what I did. I asked myself, okay, everyone is against this happiness thing. Of course you can go through every kind of depth of sadness and melancholy and depression and um, even the dark night of the soul. But it's more about 
how long can I stay in this happiness formula of myself? And with my little common sense, I found out what would a happy person do? Wouldn't a happy person every morning seriously ask themselves, am I happy? And if not, what am I allowed to change right now with the money I have, with the thought I'm thinking, where am I allowed to be? What am I allowed to eat? How am I allowed to walk? Am I allowed to dance at night? What are my possibilities? I do believe that every species envies us of our possibilities of choices. Doesn't that make sense if I, because if you are a human with all the choices available on a planet floating between heaven and hell, I think I would choose heaven. It's an easy decision. Cake or death is a very easy decision. About what else would you want to think about? Reality bills, past events, dust, fuel prices, neighbors, your job? The suburb you live in, your age, nothingness. Hell, of course, is also not enjoyable to think about, but without liking it, but once in a while, hellish moments will occur out of the blue. So I'd rather stick to the story of paradise. It's a nice story and... So if there are three paradises, I'll show you mine. I won't be able to see yours, but if you're interested in the journey, hop on board. I was too long alone anyhow, so a bit of company would do me good. Freedom and happiness are much easier than you think. Sunshine where the sea breeze blows She's got big ambitions Wants a brand new start Looking for a place where she can heal a broken heart Rami She's a wildflower Ready to take flight Tired of the city She's seeking ocean's light She's searching for serenity In every little wave Hoping that this journey will lead her to be safe Oh, Rami, she's reaching for the stars She wants to find love, heal her scars She's got dreams of a retreat by the shimmering shore Rami's quest for happiness Forever searching for more. I call it a moment. I call it life. One day, while the light is glowing.